Welcome to the end of week five of the Vendée Globe race. Uh, so this has been the week where I passed my first cape, the Cape of Good Hope, and I'm now officially in the Indian Ocean. There's the Indian Ocean. So let's just take a little look at where I am on the course now. So this waypoint here, that pin drop there, that was where I was last Friday lunchtime and I am the orange boat here. So you can see I've gone past the bottom of South Africa into the Indian Ocean and this red line here, this is the ice limit. So we're not allowed to go any further south than that limit there and you can see that I'm just currently crawling along it I need to go over that hump and then I can drop further south on the other side. I know I'm somewhere different and sailing here is, has so far been unexpected. The transitioning into the Indian Ocean has not really been what I was expecting. Um, as you can see again today, it's bright sunshine and I'm actually sailing into the wind. And I was expecting it to be cold and wet and grey and, and sailing downwind a lot. Um, but the weather systems are not usual at the moment. And it's made the sailing um, very different from what I was expecting. So I've had to do quite a lot of sail changes and it's been a lot slower. But one of the great pleasures of being somewhere new is uh, I've seen wildlife that I've never ever seen before. Uh, which has been incredible. So um, very early on in the week, I saw some hourglass dolphins, as I now know they're called. Uh, and they stayed with me for ages. They were just beautiful. And then after a lot of looking out, <laughs> I finally saw my first albatross. And actually, as I'm speaking to you now, there's one trailing the boat now. And I, I, I really words escape me for how amazing these birds are to see in the flesh you know you see them on the TV uh, and you understand how far they glide around the world you know what magnificent huge birds they are but in the flesh they're even more incredible it has been frustrating not going as as fast as I was hoping you know I'm, I'm a third through the race now um, and this next section I was expecting to be really quick but I've just had to learn to adapt and that, that's what this offshore sailing is all about it's about adapting to conditions and making the most of things so in my case that means I have gone through the boat with a fine tooth comb and I have done as many repairs and maintenance as I can because I know at some point it is going to get nasty and I just want to make sure that me and Medallia are both strong enough to deal with whatever comes to us next. It's been a really big milestone for me to sail past that first cape. You know, mentally I'd put the race into three sections. So section one was down the Atlantic and now I've finished that. Section two is this big section, the Southern Ocean. And then section three is going home again past the second cape. So to have completed section one in such good form is is really great I know there's way more challenges to come and having looked at you know some of what's happened to the front of the fleet I'm super aware of what the weather can throw at us but I'm feeling good still incredibly happy to be out here and making the most of every hour of every day that this race has given me. Looking forward to checking in with you again next week.